Look at this, guys. The meat is so tender. Can't make this up. Look at this. It's so tender. Look at this. I'll be using smoked turkey neck bones for my red pea soup. Along with all these organic ingredients that I'll also put in and cook it in this pressure cooker. <laughs> Look at that, folks. <laughs> that turkey neck is brown. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be so juicy. I know you can't wait to try it. So I have here a little bit over two cups of red peas. So now I'm just going to pour them in the pot. <laughs> So as you can see, the beans are almost overflowing the pot. Soaked up all the water. Because at this point, the water was like halfway full over the beans. And now it's soaking up all the water. Now I'm going to have to change the pot. And this has been the hour of soaking so far. Simultaneously, I'm going to pour water off and put new water in to put the peas in a bigger pot. So these beans are gonna soak overnight and the reason why, so they can cook faster and take out the gas. I would love for you to watch the full video so you can get every detail on how to make this pressure cooked red pea soup. Once you've completed cutting your scallions and onions, add two pieces of thyme and remember earlier our red peas if you can't soak them overnight make sure you soak them for a few hours please do soak them because it makes a big difference so as you can see the beans are continuously soaking up the water the water come out peas. Peas. So you pour the water off of the milk that you So I began this video in my previous video. Homemade fruit filled waffles, bacon and eggs. Be sure to watch it so you can see the beginning of this video. Now add your smoked turkey neck bones into the pressure cooker along with the seasonings. Add these into the pressure cooker. All the cloves, gonna cut these up. Add them in as well. I'm adding in some pimento leaves and I'm going to add in some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Okay, I'm going to mix this stuff around. Seasoning. So if you like the video so far, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and put your post notification bell on so you can know every time I post the video. So you get about seven carrots. Wash them off. Carrots all cut up. Have one large sweet potato. So here I've cut my sweet potato in four, even half. 
and kind of like that. So one yam, I'm gonna use that much. And then I'm gonna cut them in slices. This is our chayote, also called chocho. -cho. And just cut this up in half. Here's my butternut squash. I'm just washing it off. Even though I'm not keeping the skin on, I'm still going to wash it off. And we are not going to uh, put this in, cut the skin off and put this in. I'm actually going to bake this in the oven first. And then after I bake it, I'll take the skin off and add it to my red pieces. Yes, this is done. So this is ready, so we're just going to take off the top, see how easy it is to come off, let's get that open, take off our skin, it's very hot at this point, and look how juicy, see all the juice that's falling out of it, that's what I wanted, so I'm going to wait, pour that in, see how it works. So we have our Pillsbury flour, and this flour into the plate. So we're going to pour some water in. And slowly pour a little more. And now, let's quickly mix it up. And repeat the process. Here I'm showing you how I knead the dough. Add in the chayote, some call it chocho. Here's my coconut, I'm gonna rinse it off. So once you um, broke, break open your coconut, then you're gonna, again, we need to break this up. So we're gonna, so we're gonna cut in here to get this out. So we're actually using the actual the coconut. This is what's gonna make the milk, guys. Now add your coconut. So I just added all the coconut meat into the blender. Follow me on Instagram, Sunshine Fives TV.
organic coconut milk. Add one cup of coconut milk. Now this may vary to your taste. And remember, all the ingredients may vary according to the pot you use, according to the amount of meat you use. And as you can see, this is a pretty big pot. Mm -hmm. So I'm washing off my bananas. I'm going to add in my bananas and my boiling water with the skin on. The skin keeps all the nutrients in. So I'm cooking these separate. The green bananas are almost done. You don't want to cook them thoroughly because they have to go into the pressure cooker with the rest of the food. You see the banana is still kind of hard, which is good. But all the nutrients was left into it. And we're just going to throw it in to the pot. The rest is easy. And we're going to also lighten it up. See some big, small, however you like. Wash. Add it in. So we took it out the fridge. So now we're gonna make our dumpling. Spinner. And you guys get the gist, right? I'm gonna add in a few spinners. Add in the dumpling. Add in another dumpling. Another spinner. So here we have our soup mix. That's it. I'm going to add that in. Let's put that in there. Let's see if we're going to add it in. And I'm going to drop in my pepper. When you do it, you got to quickly. Oh, you guys. I'm going to dish some out and bring some of this thick, hearty, rich soup to my friend that's in the hospital. hospital where a friend of mine's father is that's who i'm going to bring the soup to y'all remember this scene just 
a few weeks ago. Where I did the DMX video. Make sure you guys check that out. R.I.P. to you, Earl. So here's my special bowl for my special person. <laughs> bringing this suit for this very very special person hi mr robinson i made you red pea soup today you got a big cheese on your face your favorite <laughs> is it your favorite one. red pea soup long time you long time you didn't have none mm -hmm. so i'm here to give you some it's good Jamaican style. <laughs> That's a dumpling. Mm. That was a dumpling, a spinner. Mm. Good. I think I'm gonna ask him like four more times. Is it good? <laughs> You're closing your eyes. <laughs> How it tastes? Well, I'm gonna let Mr. Robinson finish his dinner. And you all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to Sunshine Vibes TV.